guys, I'm Mia. Welcome to or back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Make Christmas Cards with me. So I am so, 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 so excited for Christmas. Like, I can't even tell you how excited I am for Christmas. So I thought I'd just make some Christmas cards. All the other years that I've got my family presents, I've always just bought their Christmas cards. So I thought, why not be a bit more creative and make them myself? So if you're part of my family, just stop right here. Don't watch anymore because you do not want to spoil your card if you want to see this video just watch it after Christmas I don't really care just don't watch it now so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let's get started so I have loads of card in here so I'm just gonna cut it up to make kind of like cute little small Christmas cards, and then I'm just gonna go on Google and get some ideas on what I can do for my Christmas cards because I really can't think of anything I have a couple ideas but yeah, I'm just going to go onto Google and just search for some ideas. And yeah. So the first Christmas card that I'm going to make is for my mum. So I'm just going to search up an idea now. And then I'll show you guys my idea for my Christmas card. So I just went downstairs and I printed out some of my ideas. So I kind of wanted to make them all the same theme. So I did them like penguin themed. So this is the first one. So it's like a little penguin with some presents. This one is like a penguin ice skater. This one are two penguins like giving her a kiss. And that one's like hiding a present, blah, blah, blah. So I also brought some tracing paper up so I might trace them and then put them onto the card and then write a little message underneath like from me so it's not just traced it. If that makes any sense. So I'm just gonna get started and start putting it onto the card and yeah. said I'm doing my mum's Christmas card first so this is what I have done so I just did the two penguins and I traced them on now I'm going to start color coloring them in and then right here I'm going to write like Merry Christmas mommy or something so yeah that is the card I'm pretty impressed with it yeah I'm quite proud I still need three more to go so not that much but I'm just going to finish this one now my mum's card and I'm going to show you guys in three, two, one. So this is what it looks like. I think it turned out so cute. I really love it. I hope all the other ones turn out way better than this one or like the same because I really love this one. It's so cute. I hope she likes it. I'm sure she will. So the next card that I'm going to be doing is my dad's card. So I'm going to be doing this penguin for him and then I'm going to be putting a heart like where it's like with his mouth so I thought that'd be kind of cute so I'm gonna cut that one out and then I'm gonna trace it so I just finished my dad's card and this took way quicker than my mom's I don't know why maybe it's because I had one penguin and I didn't have two or it's just because I got the hang of it better but this one actually turned out really good and I really like the way it looks so this is what it looks like yeah it's really cute I think the theme that I chose was really good because then they can all be like really similar so they're like from me if that makes sense so they're all like penguins so that's my dad's card. So I haven't really been talking to you and tell you, telling you guys like what the steps are that I'm doing. So I thought I'd go through it. So like if you want to make these, then you can just like follow what I'm doing. So first of all, I just like cut around the image and you can choose any image. Like I just choose penguins because they're cute. Then you get some tracing paper, just like any tracing paper. And then you put the piece of paper under it like this yeah and then you just trace and you just basically go over the image with pencil you don't push too hard on this one and then i'll update you once i've done this first step so once you've finished coloring your hand goes really like black and colorful so you need to wash your hands otherwise your paper goes like this and it gets like loads of black marks on it so just wash your hands after you've like been coloring and you've done it before you do the last final touches so i just washed my hands and now i'm going to do the final step one of the last steps that you need to do is erase all like the marks where your fingers have been dirty and they've gone like on the paper because you don't want them showing because they look kind of ratchet. So 
once you're done with that, you have almost the full version. You could just leave it like this. But I like to add the extra little touch on. So I'm just going to draw two lines in pencil at the bottom so they are straight. I'm just going to write, like, you can write any message at the bottom. So I'm just going to write, Merry Christmas. So I just wrote Merry Christmas Big Bro because this is to my big brother. So that is the final thing. You could always add more, but I think that looks super cute as it is. And then the last and final step that you're going to need to do is erase the pencil mark that you were writing the line on. Um, I have one more to do, which is for my younger brother. So yeah, these are all of them. Um, I did the same step for all of them. I'm just going to do the last one and then I'm going to come back to you and just end this video. So I'm all done with all my Christmas cards. So this is the one that I made for my little brother. I think this one's kind of cute. The presents kind of failed a little bit. Still think he'll like it. It's the thought that counts. I really think they'll like it and I think it just adds an extra touch to your gift or if you're just giving them a card, just adds an extra thing and I don't know, I just find them really cute. So yeah, these are all the cards. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, bye.